And Las Vegas police working to identify a passenger who filmed his friend allegedly committing a deadly hit and run. This happened last month when the victim was riding his bike early in the morning. Police say a video posted on social media shows the 17 year old driver deliberately hitting him and then taking off. That victim was killed. The driver was arrested later that day, but police still don't know who the passenger was. News Nation's Elizabeth Pran has been following this story. So Elizabeth, at this mm -hmm. hour, do police have any additional tips? Uh, no, and they're getting tips, and we have reached out to them for comment. We haven't heard back today, as you can imagine, just a, a horrific story that they're dealing with. As you mentioned, they really want to speak to the passenger in that vehicle. You can hear him at times, and we have snippets to show you. You can hear him laughing, probing, really encouraging the driver um, at the time. Now, the 17-year-old driver that we told you about isn't a juvenile detention center. He has been charged with murder, and the video is its horrific. It's harrowing to watch. It was posted and circulated on social media. And the victim is Andrea Probist. He's only 64 years old when he was hit by that vehicle, which was allegedly stolen, allegedly, by these two young men. Um, they intentionally swerved into the bike lane. Initially, they honked and slowed down before uh, seemingly intentionally driving over him. You can see a piece of the video. They show him on the ground. And then you can hear the engine revving as they drive away quickly. And they're laughing at the time. Um, the, the victim served for 35 years in Bell, California, and he ended up being the, the police chief before entering the private sector. His daughter told the media that she drove to the scene because shortly after the incident, which happened on August 14th, right around 6 a.m., she got an alert on her phone that his Apple iWatch said that maybe he had been involved in a fall. So we spoke with Jennifer Koffendoffer, former FBI. We asked her if there could be additional charges for this driver. We asked her if this driver could be charged as an adult and most importantly will we see charges when and if the other person in the vehicle is apprehended and this is what she told us look he can be heard on that tape he's definitely encouraging if not enticing Nevada does have a solicitation statute but can it be really used in this situation? Usually that's when you're enticing somebody to commit a crime for you. Could that be taken this broadly? I think it's possible. You know, we went on to ask her, Kelly, we are seeing an uptick in these instances where people post crimes on social media. And yes, it's an advantage because you have the evidence right there, but it's also a point for them to brag. So it's actually quite disheartening. As I mentioned, we reached out to the Las Vegas uh, Police Department for a comment, but I will mention that we're starting to see this video circulate more online. In fact, just yesterday, we saw the owner of, of formerly Twitter X post this video. It's getting more and more attention. Really hard to watch, but we're really starting to see this trend, Kelly, where some of these crimes are not only posted online, but then they're circulated for also the family and the, and, and the victims to see. So it's quite challenging. Yeah, an especially horrifying aspect of the story. Elizabeth Pran, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.